Hello there, and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a backup of your vault and how to restore it. Let's jump right in. Let's say you've been in an MFOS admin training and you've been building a really tasty vault there and now want to bring it to the office. What you need to do is create a backup of your vault. Normally, you would save the backup file on a USB stick or such, but in this case, we'll save it on the desktop. There we go. Not too tricky, right? Now, when you get back to the office with your vault on your external storage device, just plug it in and go to the mFALS admin tool. Next, we want to restore the vault from the USB device, or in this case, the desktop. Once you have the vault restored, you need to give yourself access to it. And of course, you want to have full access to the vault, so there are no restrictions in what you can do. Now the server knows that this person is going to come knocking and the name is on the VIP list. So next, we need to set the connection from the MFOS desktop. You can find the MFOS desktop settings from the bottom right corner of your Windows taskbar. The new vault is not yet visible on the list, but no worries. This one is easy peasy, just like the other parts of the process. Name the vault, and as we're locally on the computer, we can use the local procedure call as the protocol. Passed with flying colors. And finally, the authentication. I know that the user we gave access to this vault is current Windows user, so that's the one we will go with. Now we're able to establish the connection to the vault. And there it is. Now this is pretty awesome, isn't it? Now you can have your amazing vault on your own computer and customize it even further if you want. I hope this will help you with your daily tasks. And as always, go ahead and watch another video and I will be there guiding you through the amazing world of M-Files.